video today, um, I thought I would show you my new Happy Planner. First of all, this is my Carpe Diem. Um, I got this not, I think it was at Christmas time. And um, I had this all decorated actually, but I kind of took some things out to move into another planner. But um, I had put all my Happy Planner, um, my the actual planner and the sticky notes and all my extras into my Carpe Diem. Um, the disc system, I liked it, but it was just getting on my nerves a little bit as far as, uh, I don't know what it was. It wasn't super flimsy, but it was just, there was something about it that bugged me. And I just like the sturdiness of the Carpe Diem. Now, Saying all that, <laughs> I did get a new Happy Planner, and I love it, and I'll probably keep it how it is intact. I probably won't take it off the discs, but I did really love this this way. Um, I made this extra little divider for this, um, put some of my stickers in it, just put some washi tape down the side, and this had holes in it already, uh, I think for a small size binder, and I put washi tape on the side and repunched it to fit in my Carpe Diem. And then I just put some stickers in there that I had made on my silhouette. Some of them, that, that's not, but. Um, and then I have a yearly calendar in here, which I have not written on. <laughs> um, so I've got, I went ahead and took out my other ones. This is just May and June. And as you can see, I didn't do anything here in May. And I haven't written in my goals or anything like that. Um, I do, I did decorate a little in this one. I have two birthdays. Uh, my mom's and my husband's was this month. So I decorated with a birthday theme, which was kind of fun. Um, started to decorate this week and never finished. So, um, I don't know. I'm so confused because I love it in here, but... When I show you the new one that I got, I love the look of it too, so I don't know what to do about that. But anyway, I've got the home planner and um, the dividers. I cut those down as well. So what I what I did in this was I just cut off the very edge, just the very edge where those the previous holes for you know cut for the happy planner. Just cut those off. And I have one of those, how do you say it, Rupesco punches. I just got it off of Amazon. And it's not sized for this, but I put one side in. I just, you know, measured it to make sure the holes would be punched in the right places. Then I turned it around and did the other side too. So that's how I did that. Um, I've got the to-do lists, the... Um, meal planner. I love these. Those are so nice, but I haven't used them yet. And the house cleaning. As you can see, I started to do this on October 5th and never even wrote on it. I really love it. I just haven't used it because other planners came into my life and I love them, so <laughs> I just started using them instead. But um, and this is a folder that I made myself out of a file folder, and I think I got this file folder from Dollar Tree, not positive, but, so I made that and, um, just put washi on the side and punched it so it would fit in here, and then I kept my, my Simple Stories, um, notepad in the back here, so, but anyway, that is what I did to my Happy Planner. Um, then I've been in several other planners since I've done this, so I don't know. I, I just saw all the new happy planners and, you know, I knew July was coming up and I wanted to get a new one for 2016, 2017. So let me show you that one. It is the Botanical Garden. And I love this one. I think it's so pretty. Um, it's an 
18 month planner and for 2016 2017 this was $29.99 and I had my Hobby Lobby 40% off coupon so I used that and it made it $17.99 but I just love the look of the gold foil that they have in the in the newer ones now these aren't the brand new ones of course because those come out this weekend I believe this is 25th or 26th something like that but anyway I just love this one I love the touches that they have that looks kind of like gold dots or gold confetti oh hello this happy planner belongs to and it says plan a happy life and I just loved the look of the flowers I'm not huge um, a huge flower lover but this just there was something about this that I just loved so um, you get your 2016-2017 calendar and I think this is gorgeous and um, this is July and so over here you've got where you can put your July birthdays important dates and they've already got Independence Day July 4th goals this month and then you've got the um, previous and the present month and the one following so and then this is cute too I don't know how much I'll use this but kind of let you know what you were doing at that time and I like to keep these for keepsakes so I think that's kind of fun to have that and I will try to fill those out possibly and then you have the monthly which um, I don't know I just like this I like the light uh, color the light cream color here I think that's just really nice and you can decorate it however you want I mean this has got the pinks and peaches and kind of those colors but I think I can put some of my July 4th uh, stickers and things like that in here too and then you've got your weeks and I love that they don't have morning afternoon and evening anymore I can just put whatever I want in those. You still got your notes, your month at the top. And then I love their little touches here. Life is meant for good friends and great adventures. And then down here they just have the floral look. So I just think that this is gorgeous. I'll just show you. There's August. This is what August the month looks like. And then I'll show you one of the weeks. And then you've got September. That's so pretty. I love those colors. Oh, I love that. I've seen this on videos, but I didn't realize how much I love these colors until I'm actually looking at it in person. And this is good energy is contagious. So that's that. Let me go to October. Oh, that is neat. I like that. Um, We've got some kind of some orange in there, so you can decorate with pumpkins. That's the weeks, and then we've got November, very pretty. Your month. That's what that is? A little bit of plastic or something, but that's no big deal. Okay, then I'll show you the weeks for November. This is still 2016. And then, oh, this is so pretty. I love that. And then we've got December. Very pretty. Got your gold foiling on that, too. And I think these look so pretty with the gold discs. That's why I might keep this on the disc, because it just, I don't know, there's something that just really works well with that. I've got that plastic there. It's bugging me. Okay, so... There's the end of 2016, and then we've got January. Those are great colors for January. And then we've got the month, the week, and then February. Oh, that's pretty. Very pretty. There's February, the month, and there's one of the weeks. I'm surprised this isn't a little more florally. It's just leaves, but that's okay. And then March. That's pretty, which is kind of mimics the cover. And there's March's month. Weeks. There's 
April. Very springy like. And then there's what one of the weeks looks like. And then I'll go to May. No, oh, that's just gold and white striped gold foil. And there's your May, the month, and the weeks. June. That's pretty, like that. The month and the weeks. Friends don't let friends eat pizza alone. <laughs> July. Those are kind of neat colors for July, for sure. Ooh, there we go. There's the month. And that's what your weeks look like. August. September is pretty. I like that. There's like a gold foil lining on the edge there. Very pretty. There's the month and the weeks. November. We're almost done here. Or wait, did I skip? I skipped October, didn't I? Yeah, I skipped October. <laughs> Sorry about that. There's October. It's also got the gold foil. Or it looks like rose gold foil month and weeks and now November and there's that and the weeks and December so that's the end of it that's December 2017 and it goes all the way through the month very pretty I like that one and then Let's see what we have at the end. Get down to the 31st. And then you have on the back a notes page. And then the same as the inner cover on the front. So that is it. And there's the back. And um, I am so excited to start using this. I've got lots of supplies here. These are just sticker books that I have collected over time, over lots of time actually, but some of them are newer. Um, let's see, I believe these three are the newest ones. Uh, yeah, those three there. And especially this one, it says washi and it's got the punched um, edge there where I can put it, actually put this all in my happy planner. So, and I'm going to try to do that with these two. I'm going to make one booklet that I can put all of these in or put it in a binder or something like that so that I can keep them all together. But anyway, guys, that is my happy planner, my brand new happy planner. Um, let me know what kind you get. I researched these for days trying to figure out which one I like the best, and this was the one. So... Um, I just happened to go to Hobby Lobby one day, I kind of had a bad day, and I was just hoping it was there, and I walked in, and there it was. <laughs> so, I bought it, used my 40% off coupon, and I was very happy. So, um, July's almost here, so I'm going to start decorating a little bit and getting things written in, and um, I'm excited to do that. So. Uh, let me know what kind of happy planner you got, or if you're planning on getting one, what kind you want. Um, leave that down in the comments, and please um, like and subscribe. i love to um, see you all back here for another video, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.